This is the story of a local boy who hasn't quite yet made good. But while he may be a bit short of cash these days, he is not short of critical acclaim. In the music world, he is routinely compared to the greats who inspired him. Les Paul, Merle Travis, Chet Atkins. In the trade press, he has been called everything from the world's greatest unknown guitarist to the fastest player alive. So, if this guy's so hot and he lives right around here, how come you haven't heard of him? Well, that has more to do with the vicissitudes of the music business than any failing on his part. But his luck could be about to change. He recently made the cover of Guitar Player magazine, got a cameo part in a soap opera, and is oh so close to signing that major label record deal. His name is Danny Gatton, and as you are about to see, he is finger-picking good. pursue the musical career the way that you're supposed to because I kind of have a serious car addiction and I have a one-track mind and I get into building cars I kind of let the guitar playing slide local guitar hero Danny Gatton is out for a spin with his daughter Holly Ann on the back roads of Charles County in a 34 Ford, he acquired in trade for his original 53 Fender Telecaster guitar. He figures the car's worth about 18 grand, and he got the better end of the deal. One of that old Junker 34 yard car sitting over there. He said that was a yard car. Yard well, car. What's a yard car? It's beyond fixing. With a brushed on paint job from a distance, it looks good sitting in front of an old farmhouse. I mean, you know, you see pictures paintings, you know, that sort of thing. If you're a car nut, I mean, car nuts all like that. I don't care how rotten it is. It's so an old Ford is, sitting out in the yard. This is the country equivalent of a pink flamingo in the yeah, yard, huh? Yeah, exactly. I wish I had thought of that. <laughs> Danny's an obsessive shade tree mechanic, but all his spinning wrenches, as he calls it, has kept his career in neutral. Oh, no! We could get killed like this! Ah! Uh, Danny claims that in the clutch, he forgot to get a tape to John Fogarty, who was considering adding Gatton to his tour. He was just too busy fixing an antique. Is the real Danny Gatton, Danny Gatton the, the car builder, or Danny Gatton the guitar player? Both. And I'm also uh, an amateur archaeologist of sorts. You know, I'm into American Indian archaeology, but so those... Three things are my main interests. Born in 1945 in Southeast DC, Gatton has been a local legend since he first started playing in 57. Since then, he's been surviving by playing mostly small Washington clubs, polishing a style considered by most in the guitar world to be nothing short of genius. Danny's passed up many opportunities for the big time over the years, but as evidence that now, in his mid-40s, he's finally getting serious, he's hired his first manager, Ellis Duncan. He's a very shy, generous person off stage, and a bit of a pit bull, if you will, on stage. He's a very aggressive, exciting, combustible guitar player. And uh, he draws upon, at any minute, any uh, number of styles and emotions, uh, and he channels that into a particular note or feel he's trying to portray at the moment. And that's kind of like Chet Atkins style, in a way, because you're playing the bass line and the high thing, too. is not a back porch picker. He performs only with a band, not solo. 
He says he needs to feel the power of the music. <laughs> My mind is a tape recorder that plays back everything I've ever heard. I've always been a musical sponge. I can copy other people's styles uh, real close, but somehow or another, it always winds up sounding like me even when I try to do them. Gatton's six-string prowess is as much about versatility as virtuosity. He can easily slide from screeching rockabilly to smoky blues to western swing. I mean, I'm not in this for an ego trip. You know, I'm, I just like to play music with my friends and make people happy. You know, I don't, uh, I'm not out searching stardom for the trip of being a star. I really don't really want that. I mean, I've got it. That's the thing you have to do in order to be successful at this, but it makes me uncomfortable, but I'll do what I have to do. For now, Danny Gatton seems to be enjoying his life in the slow lane. He seems to sense that if the success everyone says is due him doesn't come now, it may never. He almost gave it all up five years ago, but he's going to give it a real run this time. But there's always the cars to work on and the 100-year-old farmhouse to fix up. And his wife, Jan, has a good job with the National Science Foundation. I'd like to live comfortably, you know, uh, play music uh, six months out of the year, record three months, and take off three months. That's the ultimate goal. I'd uh, you know, build a garage and mess around with cars and grow some things out here and enjoy life. I just hope that Danny doesn't go the way of a lot of great artists that never achieved uh, the fame that they deserved during their lifetime. You know, they're the Van Goghs and so that, that, that passed away before they ever sold a painting. And I just want to make sure that Danny is out there and he's heard and he receives the uh, acclaim that he deserves. <laughs> a few years ago and did nothing but build cars for a living, build street rods and customs. Um, and I really enjoyed that, but the call of music, you just say, once it's in your blood, you can't stop. <laughs> 